Okay, so a happy new year to all of you. I hope all of you are safe. For those of you who greet the new year like most of us do with firecrackers, I hope all of you are safe, no burns and all. And for the rest of my viewers, well, like I said, happy new year, a safe and prosperous year ahead. So let's go ahead with the knife collection. And like I said, this is not a best knives collection, but rather is a reference guide for those of you eyeing the same knives that I already have. At least you have an indication of the how the knife will handle in your hand in relation to my hand size. Uh, so probably you're looking for grip, handling, and balance and such. So yeah, let's go ahead. So starting with my hand size, uh, let's get that out of the way. Hand width, which is 9 centimeters or 3 and a half uh, inches wide like so from the top of my hand to the bottom of my hand this is nine centimeters or three and a half inches uh, uh, this distance over here the, the base of my thumb to the base of my forefinger which is you know a, a part of uh, the grip which is at four and a half centimeters or 1.7 inches okay and my average finger length is around six to seven centimeters or Two and eight, two, uh, two point three or two, two, two and three fourths inches, and uh, my thumb size, which I, of course, uh, indicated for, you know, for rounding out the the, the grip. My thumb length is at six point five centimeters, or 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 or, or uh, close to two and a half inches. All right, so let's proceed. And just like my fixed knives are. Uh, my folders are either for EDC or outdoor recreation. Uh, there's a couple here that are for the workbench and I have used them. Okay, the first one is... Okay, I'll just put in... I'll just pull these two out. These are both OpenL knives, alright? But I'll feature this one first. This is the OpenL number 8 outdoors. Um, not unlike um, traditional OpenL knives which have uh, wooden handles, oops, sorry about that, wooden handles. This comes in a uh, um, um, FCP handles or uh, the, a special kind of plastic uh, which is resistant to weather, uh, all any kinds of weather, so heat, rain, or uh, cold weather. This is not going to uh, ruin the knife action as it's, this is a folding knife. Uh, you could use this as an everyday carry. It's a nice everyday carry. Actually, it's a fresh thing to look at. Oh, okay, uh, that's an OpenL knife. If you see someone carrying it, it's really distinctive with its shape. It's uh, like I said, you could use it for EDC, but it's designed for the outdoors. Like I said, this is the OpenL number eight outdoors, Mer Montan. Uh, it's for the outdoors because it has a a whistle, built-in whistle, uh, which uh, puts out around 110 decibels rated. I've annoyed a hell a lot of this with my dog. Uh, okay, enough of that. Um, the handle, all right. The handle is really exact for me, at least for my hand. Okay. Handle length is at, including the Vero block. By the way, this is this uh, thing here, the, the the thing that you, the, the, the revolving thing in open handle knives that you see here, the, the collar. If you would call it this is the vero block this is the locking mechanism of open l knives uh which okay uh, at this open position you just twist it to the either le the left or the right and the knife locks in in place okay so uh going moving ahead with proceeding with the uh, handle knife uh handle length the length is around four inches or just under just under four inches or 10 centimeters Okay, uh, if you want to close the knife, you just slip the Vero block in the open position like so and close it. Still have to break this in and you could lock it as well like so. It's a real simple design, but uh, this is a traditional open L knives. Very cheap. They're, they're, they're cheap knives, but they're not really that, but they're not built cheap. Uh, they, these are really good um uh, knives uh, as OpenL makes them. Uh, blade length is uh, eight centimeters. Okay, uh, eight point five centimeters. 
uh, with around um, half of half of it is inserted, and half of it is, or from the belly to the tip is also uh, half of it is a plain edge. So uh, the blade length is eight centimeters. So four and four, four centimeters serrated and four centimeters um, full uh, plain edge. All right. Uh, really nice um, and uh, the eye here that with the thing that looks like an eye or something that to pull out with a finger but it's actually not you can't pull this out with your finger like so it's pretty hard but this is for uh, it's like a multi-tool so this is like for um, um, twisting stuff so you put um, it, it this is like a like a valve opening thing for for those who have multi-tools uh, you, you use this for uh, um, twisting stuff, okay? Uh, screw in or whatever, all right? Uh, what else? Uh, okay, blade material. The blade material is rated at as a 12C27 stainless, okay? Uh, like I, I still have to um, test this out uh, with regards to um, edge retention, but like I said, it's a really nice knife, and I will definitely use this on my uh, next trip so that, you know, uh, I could uh, rate it right away. And it's really nice. Uh, the Mermontan or the uh, number 8 Outdoors is a really nice folder. It's a fresh look, uh, not like your traditional or the, not really traditional, but not like your other more popular um, folders. Uh, this one is, I like the traditional feel of it. Um, Maybe it's an acquired taste, but yeah, this is, oops, this is the Opinel number eight, Mer Montan or Outdoors. It comes with a, sorry, uh, like I said, it comes with an eight, eight centimeter blade with four centimeters in serration, four centimeters in plain edge. It has a whistle and it has uh, a wedge for opening uh, valves and stuff, okay? Just in, uh, perfect for camping. Okay, so this is the Open L number eight, outdoors.